Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. So I was in Ulta and I decided to film a shop with me video while I was already shopping in progress. Um, they had everything that I wanted in stock. I was going to do this video like later that everything I wanted in stock so I decided to just like impromptu film while I was shopping um, I got incredibly way too much but that's okay I had a gift card I had a couple gift cards and then yeah so we're gonna do the shopping and then I will film a haul so let's go shopping Okay, this is what I have in my basket so far. Some Not Your Mother's Kids Curly Care Shampoo, Conditioner, and the Detangler, and then also the L'Oreal True Match N2 Foundation. So let's go grab some other things. the best sunscreen out there. Black Girl Sunscreen, Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion. We got incredibly too, too much. So let's go home and do a haul, okay? All 
Alright guys, it is a few days later from that Ulta trip, but we are going to do a little bit of a haul for you of all of the goodies that I got. Was any of this necessary? Absolutely not. Um, I probably could have held off on purchasing some of this. I have been getting rid of a lot of my expired makeup or makeup that I've been having for like years and years and years and it just sits there but it makes me feel better to look like I have more makeup and I'm like you know what I don't wear this so I'm just gonna get rid of it. So um, now I'm just going to show you everything that I did purchase um, and yeah let's go with it. I have been using a couple of these products too in the last few days from the shopping haul so don't hate I've been like testing them out a little bit. But the first thing is the Not Your Mother's Kids Curly Care uh, Shampoo Conditioner and Detangler with Mango Butter. One, these smell delicious. My daughter has curly hair. It's been a force to be reckoned with. We're trying to figure out how to deal with it. I'm trying to figure out how to deal with it. She does not get her curly hair from me. She gets it from her father, which is fine, but he doesn't like know how to deal with curly hair so now I'm trying to figure it out also her hair doesn't like coconut and like every curly haired product out there is like swimming in coconut coconut everything we were using Tabitha Brown's uh, sweet potato pie line which smells also delicious and it does a fantastic job at detangling her hair like her fingers slip through like butter but the problem is, is that it has a little bit of coconut in it and that really just like makes my daughter's hair greasy and it like frizzy and it just don't look right so we've switched over to this and so far so good in terms of like how her hair looks and appears it's not so like greasy or whatever but we're still trying to figure out like a curl pattern maintenance type of thing we're working on it but I do like these so far they smell really really nice also, some hair care for me is Not Your Mother's Overnight Clean Freak Dry Shampoo in Midnight Bloom Calming Fragrance. Um, I am a connoisseur of dry shampoos and I oftentimes would prefer to use them at night, but I don't like the residue that gets on my pillow. So this one says overnight. Um, I'm going to try it and we'll see what happens. I like Not Your Mother's shamp dry shampoos, especially the Clean Freak. It gives me like a lot of volume and it does absorb oil really, really well. So we will see what that's like. I got some Dashing Diva gloss strips and also just nail stickers. I thought these would just be cute. I thought they would be fun. It's, you know. Dashing Diva is my preferred nail strip, like nail gloss strip, nail, polish strip. These are my preferred brand. Um, I just think they last the longest. I think they have the cutest patterns out there. I just think that they're a good like bang for your buck type of situation. All right, so the next thing is like a restock item. Black Girl Sunscreen and the Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion for Face and Body 30. Um, this one is my absolute all-time favorite. It makes my skin look glowy and amazing and moisturized. I have talked about this several times in many videos. I will always repurchase this. You can find it at Ulta, Target, on their website, like... It's a recommendation I always make and I always stock up on it, so that's a must. Something else that I got that I definitely didn't need like three mascaras, but they're $4.99 from Essence and I wanted to try them because I really like the Purple Lash Princess um, and I've heard that this uh, blue waterproof lash princess is also very, very good. I will talk about this in just a second. I also got the Volume Stylist Curl and Hold with Micro Styling Waxes from Essence. And the reasons why I got these are because I like the spoolie. Um, this is like a paddle brush spoolie, but it has like the bristlies that I like. I don't really like those like silicone plasticky ones. And then I also got the Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes Smudge Proof Volumizing and Defining Mascara. Um which also has like a really nice like fluffy spoolie. Why I got the smudge proof one was because I have a really hard time with like mascara smudging underneath my eyes and like right underneath my eyebrows, especially if I'm not wearing lashes. So I was like, you know what? 
we'll try her out. And that's the same reason I got the waterproof one, but I tried to wear this yesterday when it was raining and I still had like mascara all down my under eyes, so I don't know about that. We're gonna have to keep trying them out to see, but Essence in general for like the price point makes a very good mascara, so I'm not disappointed. Some other things we got were skincare from The Ordinary. I got a organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. I got this because I really like to do facial cupping and I don't like facial cupping with a lotion. I haven't had an oil in a really long time so I haven't done my facial cupping in quite some time as well. So I was interested to get some. The Ordinary is very affordably priced and so I thought we would try this one out. Um, it's for all skin types and daily support formula. Um, but yeah, I just like it because facial cupping. And then also, also, this is not really affordable. This is like $30 and it is the Buffet Copper Peptides 1%. I have been struggling with finding a vitamin C serum that like does anything for my skin. I have recently purchased one that I talked about in my skincare video that like has been okay. It's It's been better than other ones but still like not that great. So everybody on the interwebs says that if vitamin C isn't working for you, this Buffet Copper Peptides is like chef's kiss amazing. It'll make your skin look like a baby's bottom and you know what? Like, I'm trying to be drinking the fountain of youth with my skincare. And if I'm paying $30, I'm wanting the fountain of youth. I have yet to start this in my regimen, uh, so time will tell. Uh, but yeah. I'm excited about it. If you have any, like, experience with this, please let me know in the comments below what you thought, what your thoughts were, those types of things. Next product is just from NYX. It is the Brow Glue in Dark Brown. Since I have since laminated my brows, I just want like a quick little thing to kind of like keep them where they need to be all day. And while I do like the e.l.f. brow lift, but sometimes it like leaves like a weird sort of like clear like white cast film on my brows. Since this is tinted, I thought that this would help. I've used it a couple times and I have to say, pre-brow lamination, I don't think I would like this product at all. Post-brow lamination where my eyebrows are already like chemically forced to go up, I do really like this product because I don't, it's, yeah, I don't know why I feel that way just yet. I have to use it a few more times to like get the words, but post-brow lamination, yes pre-brow lamination, I know, I know I would not have liked it. The point of sale got me at Ulta. Um, <laughs> I know that Tree Hut has recently come out with like body washes or maybe they've been out for a while, I don't know. Uh, but this little watermelon foaming gel wash from Tree Hut got me. It was like three dollars. It was at those little stands with all like the travel size mini stuff and I was like, you know what, I want to try their body wash. Let me just grab this. I know it's probably not the best value for my money. Like buying a full size is probably a better value. But when I just want to try some things and I know I don't want to take the time to like return it if I don't like it, I just go for the travel size things. I don't know about you, but it got me. Oh, something that I was very excited to get was this, the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. This foundation is not new, but what is new about it is the little pump bottle. And what I will have to say is that I've actually been avoiding trying this foundation for years because it did not come in a pump bottle. Like I just know myself well enough that like I don't want to mess around with like spilling out foundation everywhere. Um, and so now that it's in a pump bottle, I tried it and I'm actually wearing it today. And I, uh, the jury's out on it. I don't know. I've tried it a couple times. The one time it did not jive with whatever moisturizer I was working with and it like peeled. But the color match is like so good that I want to try like any type of formulation to like get it to work. It is an unbelievably thin formula foundation like it is very very thin 
Um, today I put it on with a damp sponge and I don't think that's it. I think I need to try it with a brush because since it is such a thin formula, it like almost needs like the brush to go a little bit further or like for better coverage. I don't know. If you, again, have any experience with the L'Oreal True Match, let me know because the color match is like so good, but the formulation and how it is working with some of my other products is like not great. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Another thing that I got that probably had too much hype on the internet, but I was like, you know what, I'm desperate for something. My under eyes crease and crack and like are so dry, dehydrated, I don't know. Like my concealer just lately has not been sitting well underneath my eyes. Powders have not been sitting well underneath my eyes and I honestly don't know what it is. I've like, today I've removed my lashes and like this is like worn makeup <laughs> uh, because I'm just a little tired after the couple weeks that we've had here. So, um, 4th Ray Beauty, which I do love their products, but 4th Ray Beauty just came out with these serum sticks and I have used this a couple times and I actually like how it looks better without makeup on than with makeup. So again, I think this is one that I'm going to have to kind of like play around with. I got the do-over, the hydrating serum stick, because I think my under eyes need hydration, but maybe not. Maybe they need something else. Um, they have three other ones, which is like pore refining, youth boosting, and something else. I don't know. Um, but I got the hydrating one for my under eyes, and I really love how this looks underneath without makeup, but it's just like a little twist-up serum stick, and you just bloop, 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 bloop. Tap, 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 tap. Um, it smells very, very good. I do like how it smells. So we're just gonna have to keep using it. If anything, it'll just like make my under eyes when I'm not making wearing makeup look like really hydrated and youthful. And we'll still have to figure out where my face is whenever I am wearing makeup. I don't know. The last few products are from Makeup Revolution and they got me with a sale. It was buy two, get one free. And I was gonna buy these two products and then I was like, you know what, I'll just add this one in so I can get one of them for free. Because this caught my eye. This is a, oh my gosh, I can't. This is a setting spray and it's super dewy, dewy fix setting spray. And I love my Morphe continuous spray setting mist, but sometimes I want more of like a dewy, juicy finish. And I do know that they have a dewy one, but it's coconut. Um, so I'm going to try this one out and see where we're at. I think this was like $15. Um, you get five fluid ounces or 150 milliliters. So we're going to try it out. I'm, I'm not sold on it because I haven't used it yet. So we'll have to see. It has a lot of oils and things in it, which makes me a little nervous on how it's going to like set my makeup with oil, but like, we'll see. Uh, the next thing that I got was the Ceramide Primer, and this is, again, something that I saw on the interwebs. It looks really, really cool, but I've been having a lot of dry patches lately, especially, like, on my chin, and so I've been needing something, like, really, really hydrating, and I saw this, and it's gotten some, like, good feedback. I don't know if it's going to be amazing. I'm wearing it today, and what I will say is that I don't think it's it's an all over primer for me. I think it will specifically be on my more dry patches like my forehead and my chin and I'm still going to have to really use a mattifying pore filling primer on my nose. I did like the feel and the texture of this. It's kind of lotion-y. It is very hydrating but I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit more to kind of like figure out how to use it, when to use it, what products to use it with. The last one is from Revolution Makeup and it is the Balm Glow, multi-use glow for the face, luminous finish. And why I got this was because it seemed like it was a dupe for the Danessa Myricks um, 
blush, like putty blush balm things that she, not putty, but like the blush balms that she come, came out with that are basically like the same formula as the balm foundation that she has and so I would not be surprised if you saw this in April dupes I also love the color like this peachy color it doesn't really have much of a scent um and the packaging is really interesting to me in this little like tin metal canister I don't know you can use it on your cheeks and your lips just like the Danessa Myricks one so we will have to see this was I think $12 if I'm remembering correctly but uh yeah so that was the haul from Ulta that's the receipts um I'm really interested to see a lot of how these products work or interact or how I can get them to work for myself it's been a hot minute but since I've done like ultra glam makeup and I'd really like to get back into that um so maybe some more of the hydrating products will help with that like heavy matte finish, you know, glam makeup look. So we'll see. Um, if you have any comments on these products, let me know in the comment section below. I will link everything I got down in the description box below. So if you, anything piqued your interest, you can like research it and, you know, look at it more yourself. If you enjoyed the video and the haul and the shopping, give it a big old thumbs up. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.